All right, you guys, this lesson is Special Right Triangles, Module 18.3, Part 1. So uh, the chatter in the back is my students working on dollhouses. So for their geometry project, there's lots of geometry in building houses, and we're going to later donate them to kindergarten classes. But anyways, you guys get to work on even something more fun, Special Right Triangles. All right, the first one is 45, 45, 90 right triangle. So it might look like that. That's a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. It might look like that right there, where they just tell that these angles are equal right there with the right angle right there. Or it might look like that, where these sides are equal. Sometimes they're called isosceles right triangles, okay? And so in any case, these two sides are equal, so these will be X's. And these are X's. They're all the same. These three triangles are all the same feature right there. And if it is an isosceles right triangle, then the hypotenuse is always root 2 times the side. Now the proof of this is uh, from the Pythagorean theorem, and we're going to skip that. We're just going to do that, uh, just draw, go right to that. Sometimes, you guys, they give you the hypotenuse. When they give you the hypotenuse, your root 2 is hiding in there, so we have to divide by root 2 to get those legs. Okay, let me slide that up right there, okay? So let's say that was 10. This would be 10 over root 2, okay? which is the same as 5 root 2. You divide you divide this number by 2 and tag a root 2 with it. So say that was a 30, this would be 15 root 2. Okay, divided by root 2 and tag a root 2 with it. That's how you divide by root 2, okay? Uh, anyway, so 30, 60, 90 triangles look like that right there. So the 30 is the smaller angle, the 60 is the bigger angle, and the 90 is the biggest angle, okay? So this is the hypotenuse, okay? Everything revolves around the shorter leg which is opposite the 30 right there, okay? So if we know the shorter leg, we multiply it by root 3 to get the longer leg. And then we just double the shorter leg, and that is the hypotenuse right there, okay? And I like to think the 30 has a root 3 baby, okay? So that the root 3 is right underneath that 30 right there, all right? So um, sometimes uh, they'll give you the hypotenuse first, so you got to work backwards and take half of it to get the shorter leg. Remember, the hypotenuse is double the shorter leg. So if they give you this, then you take half, that'll get you the shorter leg. And then tag a root 3 with it, and that'll get you the longer leg, okay? So let's say that was 10. If this was 10, this would be 5. This would be 5 root 3, okay? All right. So there's our two rules right there, okay? So the, uh, the isosceles right triangles, the hypotenuse is root 2 times the legs, and then a 30, 60, 90 triangle. The hypotenuse is double the shorter leg, and the longer leg is root 3 times the shorter leg. Remember, the 30 has a root 3 baby. That's what I like to think right there. Okay, so find the values of the variables. Okay, so here we have an isosceles, because that's 45, which means this is 45 over there, because this is 90 right there. So we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So this is my isosceles sides, 8 and 8. So y equals 8, and the hypotenuse, 8 root 2. Okay, all right, so let's slide that up right there. Okay, so here's another isosceles triangle. This is 3 root 2, 3 root 2. There's a right angle right there, so this is 3 root 2 root 2. And root 2 times root 2 is plain old 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Okay? All right, so this one here, here's another isosceles uh, right triangle because this is x and this is x, so it's isosceles and right triangle right there. So this is always root 2 times this, so this must be just plain old 5, x is 5, okay? All right, here, let's do that with this one, okay? So the root 2 is hiding in there, so when we divide it by root 2, we divide it by 2 and tag a root 2 with it, okay? And this is y, okay? So it's 3 root 2, but this is y. We divide it by root 2, and then we multiply this by root 2 over root 2, gets us 6 root 2 over 2, because root 2 times root 2 is just plain old 2, 2 goes in the 6 uh, three times, so we get 3 root 2 right there, okay? The trick is divide it by 2 and tag a root 2 with it. 6 divided by 2 is 3, so this is going to be 3 root 2, all right? So here, um, 30, 60, 90 triangle. There's a 60, that's 90, so this is 30 right there, okay? So uh, the hypotenuse is twice the shorter leg, and the longer leg is root 3 times the shorter leg, okay? Now, here the root 3 is hiding. It's another 30, 60, 90 triangle right there. So the trick is when you divide by root 3, you divide it by 3 and tag a root, a root 3 with it. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. That's 3 root 3. Okay. 
So this is y. 9 divided by root 3, multiply it by root 3 over root 3, and you get uh, 3 root 3, okay? So y is twice that. It's 6 root 3, okay? It's getting wrap-up time right here, so you're hearing a lot of the chatter. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, anyways, okay, so this is an isosceles triangle. There's 4, that's 4, that's 4, so that means there's a bunch of 60s going around because, I'm sorry, did I say isosceles equilateral? So it's equiangular. Those are all 60s, so there's 60 right there. So there's my 30, 60, 90 triangle, okay? This is the shorter leg, so this is the longer leg, root 3. Remember, the 30 had a root 3 with it. This is twice the shorter leg, but it's we already knew that that was, that was 4. All right, okay, this one here, 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay, so this is the hypotenuse. We take half of it, so this is 5, and this is 5 root 3. Okay, all right, uh, this guy right here, we got a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Yeah, they go right over there, Danny. Thank you. 30, 60, 90 triangle, so the root 3 is hiding right there, so if we take off the root 3, that is 6 right there. I'm sorry, 9. I have a little dyslexic trick on me right there. Okay, and then this is going to be twice that 9, it's going to be 18. Okay, and then 45, 45, 90. So the root 2 is hiding in there. So divide that by root 2, and we're going to get 9 root 2 on that, okay? All right, so this one here is a, uh, what kind of triangle is this? Well, since the longer leg is root 3 times the shorter leg, this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. That means that the hypotenuse is twice the shorter leg right there. So 7x minus 35 is twice x. Solve for x, we get uh, x equals 7. All right, if you are in our class, that's your assignment. Take care.